Hello and welcome to Brett Dupree uh, Some Health Journey. I am, of course, Brett Dupree, somebody who doesn't know how he's going to start each of these videos and then wonders if he says the words right and then wondering if he says those words right and talks about it in his head like 29% of people because I still can't believe not everyone has a voice in their head talking to them all the time. Weird. How the... F anyway, this is not about how you think. Today I'm talking about some of the annoyances of being fat, which I think is one of the biggest annoyances about being fat, um, losing weight, or doing anything in that space and living is um, the unsolicited advice and the noise. There's so much noise. So much noise. <sighs> For some reason, when you are fat and out of shape, people feel inclined to talk to you about dieting all the time. And what they are doing dieting all the time. Uh, such as just telling me giving up sugar. Or how hard it is to give up sugar. Which is interesting because now I'm doing intuitive eating. I'm having no food rules. So I have to constantly tell people in real life. It's like, well, I'm living with no food rules. So I don't want to do that. But that's what I say. Uh, but it's something that's just, it feels ingrained in us. Because like, it's almost something I fight sometimes with myself. Once I decided to stop giving unsolicited advice, I think about four or five years ago. I mean, I used to try to be one of those people because, you know, you get in personal growth and you try to work on new things and you just want to tell everybody, right? And so I decided to only tell people on my page or on my vlog because, like, I recognize the fact that any time I talk about this and then someone gives me unsolicited advice, but I'm not asking for advice. And I know I'm maybe insulting some of the people who even let comments on my account, which I do appreciate because that helps my algorithm. I do recognize the fact that you're just trying to help. But the same thing is like, if I'm asking for advice, I would ask for it. Especially since sometimes I wonder if you even listen to a word I just said. Because you just gave me advice that was counter of what I just said. Unsolicited. Unsolicited unasked for and yeah that's one thing i've learned in my older age is to just stop giving unsolicited advice so if someone's asking me what they want or if it's in the conversation i'll tell them what i do for the reason and why i think certain things unhealthy and why i would never do it so i try to do um sometimes it's harder because for some reason with family you can get um more uh critical because you know relationships and shit but honestly, though, I think I've done a pretty good job. I've had multiple family members do weight loss surgery, and I think weight loss surgery is terrible overall. That's my opinion. However, if it works for them, it works for them. It's their decisions on their bodies. It has nothing to do with me. And, I'll, and I've just come to the conclusion that if someone does something, I'm going to do my best to support them unless I have to live with them. Which is like, yeah, I'm not going to, yeah. Um, <laughs> Hex and I had some conversations because her kids are becoming vegan. That was going to be a problem. Because, you know, I love meat. I love the meat. But that's, di you know, that's different. As long as I don't have to live with you um, and work with you, I'm not going to have an issue. Become a vegan. It's not for me. I'm very against me being a vegan. You can be all the vegan you want, but don't tell me to become a vegan because I don't want to hear it. That's why I won't tell you to be a fucking meat eater unless we have to eat together constantly. And yeah, basically. Um, but that's the thing that's really the annoying part about being fat is the constant people telling you about what they're doing or what I should do and talk about it as if I don't know if, if, I, if, if, as if, I've never thought about losing weight. Like, you know, going to a doctor. Every time, I mean, this is one reason why, uh, you know, fat people don't like going to doctors. And this is actually one of the reasons why being overweight causes a higher mortality rate is because doctors will talk about weight loss and only talk about weight loss for their issues. And that discourages fat people from going to the doctor. So doctors are less likely to diagnose people with the actual problem or find the actual problem. And that causes fat people less likely to go to doctors. So of course, fat people are going to die more before that reason. Cause 
they wait too long or the doctor just waits too long to diagnose them with the correct diagnosis because you're like, you're just fat, motherfucker. Um, and that's just annoying. It's like I haven't thought about losing weight. Like, I haven't tried to lose weight. I don't think it's possible to be fat in America and not try to lose weight. I think it's impossible. And if you're able to do that, holy crap, you have some, like, amazing boundaries because in this country you're just inundated with losing weight fat is bad 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 at least you're not gonna try of course i've tried i've tried many times i've dieted in some way and for since i was 16 i'm 44 now like i haven't read a book on it i haven't read multiple books on it i haven't listened to hundreds of hours of podcasts about it i haven't read hundreds of articles on how fat is dangerous and how i should eat this but not that but of course it tells me i shouldn't eat that and then eat this and it's just maddening so yeah so this is advice don't give advice to somebody unless they fucking ask for it and that's why i try to live my life <laughs> Ah, that was nice to get off my chest. Love you.